10 delicious healthy meals for just £27. I'm going to be batch cooking this little lot in the air fryer. Let me know if you enjoyed this video and I can make more for you. Let's go. Okay, to start off, I've done an order so I can track exactly how much I'm spending. It's come to £26. I'll show it on the screen. Um, but I'm going to go and pick it up now. I'm going to go to Asda and I've just tried to get the most the best quality ingredients, but for the best price. So I haven't gone for the absolute essentials range, which would save you a lot more money. And also I've done fish, prawns and chicken. So if you did want to bulk it out with maybe some uh, veggie based protein, if you're vegan, then that would also work as well. But this is just something that I'm doing just to test it out, see how we get on. And I thought I would just try these meals first. So I'm gonna have 10 meals. So let's go to Asda quickly and pick up the ingredients. <music> Okay, I feel like an official YouTuber doing a batch cooking video. <laughs> this is very new to me. I've just set up and the sun has finally come out. It's a beautiful day, not good for filming. But what I'm gonna do is prep first. So I will try and leave the instructions. In fact, I'm gonna do a reel. So over on my Instagram, which is Lara Joanna Jarvis, I'm gonna do a reel which will show sort of timings and temperatures and amounts and things like that. So what I'm gonna do first is prep all the carbs. So that is cook the rice up, cook the noodles up, and cook the sweet potatoes up. So they will get cooking whilst I am then prepping the veggies. So I've got cauliflower, the humble cauliflower. I feel like this is quite a, don't I say boring vegetable? But not how I'm gonna do it, guys. I'm gonna pimp this up, I absolutely love. It's like a sort of take on the Wagamama Bang Bang cauliflower. You might have heard of them being called bang, um, cauliflower, buffalo cauliflower wings or something like that. Basically, we're gonna put these in the air fryer with some delicious glaze on them and it's just gonna cook up to be crispy, crunchy deliciousness. Um, I'm also gonna do broccoli in some flavoursome uh, sort of dressing and cook it up again in the air fryer. So I'm gonna have the air fryer going for quite a lot, so I'll probably do some music over the top because it'll be quite noisy in the background. Uh, what I'm gonna do first is just wash all my veggies, get them all prepared and ready. I'm gonna do some courgette because I love courgette. I eat that all the time. Um, it's just a really good alternative to carbs if you are trying to eat more veg and less carbs. So I love that with salmon. I always do that with salmon and some roasted tomatoes and courgette, that's delicious. And then I'm gonna do a dressing up for the slaw. So I'm gonna do some probably uh, zesty white wine, rice vinegar, that sort of thing with that. And also going to coat the some of the cauliflower in coconut milk as well. So we're gonna have a little bit of a different thing going on for each dish. So we have got, I'll read you out the recipes that I'm gonna make. So I'm gonna do sweet chili salmon with noodles and slaw for two meals. Chicken, broccoli, and sweet potatoes, two meals. Really good, really delicious, really hearty. Prawns, rice, and bang bang cauliflower for two meals. Chicken, courgette, sweet potato, and rice for two meals. Really, really filling. And prawns, noodles, and broccoli for two meals as well. So that's two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten meals. Let's boil up the rice, boil up some noodles, chop up the sweet potatoes, get them in the fryer first, and then we're gonna start making this delicious. Late night, late night, so Rice is always a bit of a tricky one, but I tend to do one cup for two people of rice. And then for, say I'm doing four people's rice, I do 600 ml of cold water, put it into the pan until it starts boiling. Once it starts boiling, put the lid on it, cook for 10 minutes and then turn it off. It should have absorbed all the water and hopefully, very good at rice. Hopefully it's not too sticky. But if it is, I kind of like sticky rice, so that's fine. I've salt and peppered it, or sorted it, sorry. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna now get going to get on with the noodles. About you, I like, about you, I like. I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you. If only you knew I would die. Just gonna 
gonna give these a little bit of a wash, make sure there's no bugs or pesticides left on them. And I'm gonna chop up my sweet potato and pop it into the air fryer first. That is almost about time to put the lid on and I'm just going to use this lid. Hopefully these will cook. I've got three minutes left. Oh no. <laughs> I've got three minutes left on my noodle nests. Love noodles, have them all the time. Henry actually says they're his best meal ever. Um, and yeah, and then I'm gonna be switching over these two. So they're just gonna get on with cooking while I chop up the veggies. bowl I'm going to put in some gluten free soy sauce I don't really measure I just sort of pour it in some honey and then the juice of one lime actually let's do half a lime and then some birdside chili flakes. These are very spicy though, so don't go too crazy on them. I'm just gonna line my air fryer with some tin foil, so that's now, so that it doesn't sort of make it too messy. I'm literally just putting it in there like that. And then I'm gonna cook my sweet potatoes in there, probably for about 15 minutes. We'll just see, we'll see how it goes. Um, and then they will be done and I can start putting the rest of it in. Guess I'm just too scared to settle down. There'd be many nights I got too hot and almost left town. My noodles are now done, so I'm gonna take them out to stop them from cooking, just run some cool water through them and then store those until I'm ready to dish everything up. The rice is just heaped with me as well, so let's check that. Basically, it should be nice and fluffy. But, as I've said, I'm not very good at cooking rice. But you know, that's okay. Oh, it's nice and fluffy! It's not too sticky. Oh, yes. I feel like that is a win for mankind. It's not too sticky. It's nice and cooked. Oh, that's probably the best rice I've done in a long time, guys. I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna just leave that there, in there, just until I need to plate up. So that's both my noodles and my rice done. My sweet potatoes are in, and I'm just gonna start prepping up all of my veggies. Before I do that, I'm just gonna do two different types of noodles. So I've got some sesame oil here, if it ever focuses, there we go. This is great just to put through dishes as they're finished. So I'm gonna put some of these through half of the noodles, because I've got half with prawns and half with salmon. So I'm gonna do that differently on each dish. And then I'll put just some set some of those aside for when I'm ready to play up. And I'm gonna make up a dressing, and I honestly just do everything just by eye. So I'm gonna take some honey into the same bowl as we used earlier. Probably about three tablespoons for the honey. I'm gonna put some paprika in. Soy sauce again. Okay. So we're gonna coat this first. I'm just gonna get some Grease proof paper for this one and lay this out and do the same as I did for the sweet potato. These have probably got two more minutes to go. I've just put a little drizzle of honey on the top there. I'm gonna pop it back into the air fryer before I'm gonna actually reduce the temperature. So we're gonna take it down to 180 and then right down. This is so cool, this digital one, to four minutes. I just put my coconut milk in there and then I'm gonna pop in the remainder of my cauliflower just to coat those guys. And then I'm gonna be putting in some curry powder. This is gonna give it a completely different taste to the other one. So 
this is just finished cooking. So I can just take this out with the foil like this and just literally leave it until it's ready to be plated up. That looks really good. So I'll leave this over here in the sunshine and then I can start putting my cauliflower in. veggies are all done now the carbs are done I'm just gonna finish off and do the meats and the fish it's actually gonna take the least amount of time because the salmon literally takes about 10 minutes eight nine minutes in the air fryer I just sort of flake it off to make sure it's cooked the chicken will take a bit longer probably about 14 minutes and then the prawns are already cooked so they just literally I'm gonna place them straight into some dressing and then straight into the container because otherwise they're gonna be overcooked uh, but yeah I'm really looking forward to seeing all this coming together I've been cooking for about 14 minutes now and yeah, I'm just really excited to see it all coming together. Sorry, it's noisy with the air fry going. So in the prawns here, I've done coconut milk, salt and pepper, and paprika. And then on the other one, I'm gonna do more of a sort of Asian style with some of the soy sauce. I'm literally making the most of this bottle. Uh, I will also put some chili flakes in, some lime juice. So yeah, they will be very different. I've got my chicken in the air fry now, so I'm just taking the opportunity to cook up my salmon or prepare my salmon. So I'm just gonna let this sit in this dressing for the time it takes the chicken. I did put it on for 14 minutes, but I think it's gonna need a bit longer, so I put it on for 16 and then I'll check it. I've just turned it and then, uh, yeah, we'll check it. But everything else is pretty much done. Just gotta do the slaw and then it'll be making it time. So these, these um, glass dishes are really good for storing like fresh veggies and things like that. So the slaw that I'm going to make, this is actually gonna go off on the 15th. So I'm not gonna freeze anything like this. And I also wouldn't freeze the courgette. So those are gonna be my early on in the week meals, the ones with those. And then things like the uh, cauliflower, they will just last a lot longer. I'm not sure I'm gonna freeze any of them at the moment, purely because we could probably get through them in the five days that it will take to eat them. Uh, but yeah, if you're cooking for yourself, obviously you're gonna need to freeze some of these if you're doing big batches like this, because unless you can eat that much food in a week, but I'm gonna be doing this with stew. So yes, 10 meals, two each, five days. So a week's worth, a midweek's worth of meals for 30 pounds. So I really hope you're enjoying this. I've never done this before, so it's all new to me. So hopefully it's not too chaotic. <laughs> And uh, you're getting some tips and some nice recipe ideas. Let me know if you do want to make me to make any more videos like this and go over to Instagram as well because I'll be sharing lots more meal inspiration over there. So. You told me more than once to show you my intention. My brain gets blocked at times, but now somehow I'll give you my attention. You've got to know that I, I ain't a person. Understands all the clockwork of our romance. You make me feel so alive. Always there in my mind. The time has come to start dishing up. So we've got chicken noodles times two different ways. Rice, bang, curry cauliflower, bang bang cauliflower, sweet potato, broccoli. And then I've got down here some fresh ones which are gonna go in the airtight con container so that they don't go brown. And yeah, I'm really excited actually. I've, this is like my first time doing this and I feel like I've just bossed it. I've just got a week's worth of meals in like just over an hour. And 
yeah, ready to go. Obviously, if you were doing it without an air fry, you could do it in the oven, you could do multiple trays, that would take a lot less time. It was the veggies that sort of took the time. Also, what I would love is a two tray air fryer because then you could put in like the broccoli and the cauliflower at the same time. But alas, we've made it. Uh, so let's start plating up. Is it normal to be this excited? Just don't know. I just don't know if I'll dance with the lights on. If you're gonna be moving on solo, wait a second, cause they're playing the best song. I'll be there if you reach out to me. My very first batch cooking video i really hope you enjoyed it guys and you might got some meal inspiration if you are new here and you enjoyed it please do think about following my account subscribing to my channel and come along and see what i'm up to on instagram as well because i share loads of meal ideas over there too i'm really pleased with what i've done today i feel like i'm very uh, achieved i feel a good sense of achievement and i'm set for the whole week so i really hope this was enjoyable for you to watch don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys so soon bye